fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. Wherever bad men and outlaws threatened the peace and security of the settlers, his strength and courage were used against them on the side of right against might. And in time, high old silver came to be the battle cry of justice on the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Oh, Silver! We're heading for Deadwood! There's going to be trouble! Oh, Silver! Away! Abner sat on the steps of his house with his wife. Abner's eyes, dull with the years, were moving from a battered, heavy old stagecoach to several aged horses in the nearby corral. Yes, all grown old together. Not even Jane here no more. Abner, you talking to yourself? Hmm? Oh, not special, Martha. You've got to stop thinking so much, Abner. There must be something you can do. Old and stove in. Wore out, like the old horses. Even the old stage is in better shape than me. No such thing. Uh, it ain't been the same since Jane and Charlie got married. Moved to Charlie's ranch to the south. Well, why shouldn't Jane get married? Charlie's a fine husband for her. I reckon so. But it sure makes it powerful lonesome around here. <laughs> Truth of it is, Abner, you ain't got no more worries about Jane... So now you're thinking of yourself all the time. Oh, if only we could raise enough cash. Cash for what? We got enough to live on. Mm -hmm. The kindest thing I could do for them old horses is to get rid of them. They're old, stove in, wore out. Yeah, just like me. Uh-huh. You've been talking to the new stage line folks. Well, I did try to get a job there. What'd they tell you? Hey, but one job a man my age can do. That's to be general manager of the outfit. Can't be that unless I brought up an interest in the stage line. Well, then, forget working. You don't need to. Six alive. We ain't got no money worries. Oh, I think I sold out my part of the stage line. Doggone fool. <laughs> you didn't have no choice. The line you had was losing money all the time. And he needed new horses and new stages. Wasn't nothing but generosity on the part of Mr. Fletcher that give you any cash. He didn't need to. You'd have gone broke in another three months. 
He didn't have the new roots or anything else. Uh, no. I hadn't been sleeping while that other outfit started oh, up. Oh, forget it, Abner. Uh, look at that stage. I can't help thinking when I look at her how proud I was when I used to set up there. And those horses was young and spry, raring to go. <laughs> I'd make a big business of pulling on my gloves while folks stood all around admiring, envying. Then I, I'd take up the reins in one hand, whip in the other, while the horses clattered and pawed, anxious to get started on the run. Then I'd shout, We're off! The crowd would cheer and yell. Then I, I'd crack the whip. Get up there! Get up there, Nero! Blackie! Blasky! Get along! Abner! Huh? Oh, uh, I, I could live it all over again. Seeing that old stage. Now it's falling apart. Horses are wore out. And me, I... Oh, please, Abner. Why don't you burn that old claptrap well, up? The stagecoach? Yes, yeah, sure. It's no good. It is good. Can't use it no more. It's too big and heavy for anything. It takes four horses to pull it. I keep her greased and shaped just the same. And the wood in her is just as solid as it was the day it is built. You yourself just said it was falling apart. Well, it ain't. Oh, right, Abner. Uh, if only I could raise the cash, I'd be boss of this new outfit. By thunder, I'd show these young whippersnappers how to run a stage line. Well, they seem to be doing all right. But not as good as they could. Why, with all the businesses out here now, they could do ten times as good as they're doing. Oh, I ain't the man to sit and dry rot, Martha. I've got to be doing something. Well, I wish there was some way you could go to work for the Deadwood Company, if it'd make you happy. Uh, what's that? Horsemen coming this way. They're at the other side of the house now. There they are. Martha... Look at that white horse. Did you ever see one like it? Looks mighty strong. Finest I ever did see. Abner, the rider's mask. Yeah, so he is. Stay, stay there, stranger. Hello. Don't make no fast moves. What's that mask mean? It doesn't mean that I'm an outlaw, Abner. You know me? I've heard about you. An Indian. Uh, me, Conco. You let horse have water? Water plenty by the corral. Uh, me, thank you. Take silver, too, Toto. <coughs> I'll have a talk with Abner. Good. Hunter water horses. You come, sir. Where'd you hear about me? What'd you want here, mister? We, we ain't got nothing worth stealing. I'm not here to steal anything. Where'd you hear about me? Tonto was in town when you were talking to the men in the office of the Deadwood Stage Line. Tonto, that's your partner? Yes. Well, what'd you come here for? Just after you left town, Abner, there was a lot of excitement. What happened? Thieves went to the Deadwood office and stole a fortune. They did? A lot of gold that was there ready for shipment. It was believed that they were heading this way. They never stole nothing when I was running the stage. There was never enough to tempt thieves. Stage robbing crooks. Oh, if only I could met up with someone when I was handling a six in hand. There's a pretty big reward for the capture of the thieves. How many was there? Seven or eight of them. It was Red Brogan's gang. Red Brogan? Sakes alive, Abner, you hear that? Brogan? Well, he's the biggest crook in this part of the country. That's what I've heard. That critter's never come close to being caught. That's why there's such a big reward for him, in addition to a reward for every one of his men. Golly. Do you know what Red Brogan looks like? I've heard enough about him. I know him for seen him. If he comes this way, fire three shots. Well, I'll fire one shot. That'll be right at him. Uh, but, uh... Yes? Who are you? I've been trying to locate Brogan. I finally had word that he was heading for the town near here, but I didn't see him. He rode in, robbed, and got away. Where was you? Too far from town to trail him. You figure he'll head this way? Yes. Why? If he came this way, he'd have to stay on only one trail. The trail over the Powder River Bridge. It would be the most dangerous direction for him to come. Any other trail would be safer for him. He could go three ways from town and have a fairly good chance of escaping. Sure he could. But as you say, this way it'd be dangerous. Well, it seems to me, then, that this is the one direction Red Brogan wouldn't use. That's the way the lawmen figure. Brogan knows that the sheriff will have a posse watching the other trails. That's why I think Brogan will come this way. By Junior, but sounds right, Martha. Tonto and I are going to scout around here, but we'll be close enough to hear a gunshot. Now, don't try to capture Brogan's gang alone, Abner. Wait until he's well on his way, then signal for me. Mm, so you can get the reward? If I can find Brogan through your help, Abner, you'll get the reward. Don't sound reasonable. Drat it, if only I knowed who you was. Horse ready now. We go on hunt again? Yes, Tonto. Uh, hold on, stranger. Who are you? Here, Abner. Perhaps this will tell you. Eh? Ready, Tonto? Ah, get him up, scout. Hail Silver! Hooray! Uh, what was that he tossed here, Martha? Where'd it go? Yeah. There, Abner, on the ground. Uh, oh, sure. Sure thing. 
Uh, shucks, this ain't nothing but a cartridge. But he called his horse. Silver. That's right. Why in tarnation didn't I think of it? A silver bullet. So that's why he'll give me any reward money I helped earn. The Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger and Tonto crisscrossed the stretch of country near the Powder River Bridge, hoping to find some track of the outlaws led by Red Brogan. The masked man was right in supposing that the thieves had come to that district, but he was far behind them. Old Abner's daughter and her husband were much nearer the gang than the Lone Ranger. They sure done a good job of hiding our tracks, Red. We better. Bet there ain't a lawman in sight of ten miles. Only one thing we need right now, and that's fresh horses. Reckon I know where we'll get them, too. I know. Straight ahead. That's right. My eyes ain't doing tricks. I see some right smart-looking critters in yonder corral. Don't look like there's anyone about, neither. Not unless they're in the house. I don't see no bunkhouse. I know that ranch. Tell the Bates, please. Yeah? Got married a while back. Married old Abner's girl, Jane. Abner, the stage line? Yeah, same. What about young Bates? You got any cow hands that are likely to spot us? No, he ain't much stock. Mostly horses and good ones. <laughs> Which same we can use? It's fresh horses, cross the Bottle River Bridge, and then we're in the clear. You sure work a job out slick, Red. Gotta hand it to you. That's why I never had to worry much about the law. Pete. Yeah? Come here. Yeah, Red. He don't want you to take charge of the rest of the boys while me and Laffy are making palaver with Bates and his wife. You see the saddles and things are switched to fresh horses. Right. And see to it that you pick the best ones in the corral. Take all the rest of them along with us. Red. Huh? Think we ought to be burdened with extra horses? We can always use them. But they might slow us up. There's nothing chasing us. What have we got to hurry for? Better to go slower with no horses left to be used in chasing us than fast to outrun lead. You're right again. Here we are now. Tend them horses, Pete. Hello there, inside the house. Come on out, I want to talk to you. Someone opening the door. Come on to the porch with me. What's the shooting for? Who are... Howdy, ma'am. You. I'm here to have a little talk with you, ma'am. Is your husband at home? Charlie. Charlie, it's Red Brogan. Look out, Red. Charlie. That'll learn your husband to draw a beat on me. Yeah, you seem to know me, ma'am. You shot my husband. Now you shot... he's just winged. He ain't hurt bad. You, you murderous beast, you... Red, you better watch her. She's a fighting wildcat from all I hear. If she makes a move to draw a gun, put another slug in Charlie there on the floor. Right. What do you want? I just wanted to make sure your husband wouldn't interfere with the little business my boys are taking care of over at the corral. Our horses. We need them, ma'am. And what we need, we take. Now, if you don't make no trouble for us, you'll maybe find your horses straying wild somewhere when we're done with them. You... If you want to get some water and bandage and patch up your husband, you just go right ahead and we won't interfere none. My boys will have the horses saddled and we'll be on our way in a couple of minutes. You can't get away with this sort of high-handed business, Red Brogan. You'll get yours someday. You better do what Red says, ma'am. I'll show you what I'll do. Put down that gun. I won't. I'll sh- Oh, you... Jane, that slug hit the floor about an inch from your husband's head. Now you drop that shooting iron or by thunder, the next one won't come an inch from his head. That's better. Here come the boys with fresh horses. Yeah, good. You won't get away. Let me see about that. Already, Red. One thing more, ma'am. Go on. Get away while you've got the chance, you cowards. There was a man and a woman against the eight of you. But you were afraid of even those odds. Two good men will lick the pack of you. Go on, get a head start. Because Charlie and I are going to get back our horses if it's the last thing we ever do. <laughs> Lots of spunk for a woman. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, get them back. Coward, we'll get those horses back. You wait and see. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Red Brogan, notorious outlaw, had robbed the stage office and made his escape by stealing fresh horses from Abner's daughter's ranch. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were far from the outlaw gang, trying to locate them. We've been searching this part of the country for hours, Kimosabe. 
And still no sign of Brogan and his men. Maybe we go wrong way. Huh? I'm positive Brogan headed in this direction, Toto. Me not see sign. His horses would leave tracks in this ground. We couldn't have missed them. That's right. I hate to go back and let Brogan make his getaway with that stolen money. Kimasabi. What is it, Toto? I to see something. Here. Footprints. Toto, we've located them. Ah, uh, them go south that way. How long ago? Brown, a little bit dry. And pass this way maybe two... Maybe three hours. Two or three hours. They've got a long head start, but we've got to catch them. We. Oui. What matter? What you see? South Tunnel, do you see that? Ah, not, not cloud. It's smoke, a column of smoke away off in the distance. Ah. It's too far to tell exactly, but... Tonto, Abner's daughter and her husband have a ranch in that direction. The ranch must be on fire. We call. After me. Get him up, scout. Come on, Silver. Heavens, there's only a slight wound. That's it. Uh, it's bandaged fine now. Oh, when those sidewinders rode away and left you lying on the floor, I'm I... all right now, Janie. Just help me up. They took our horses. Brogan and his gang take whatever they lay their hands on. Janie, we've got to get help. Too far to town. How about your father's place? What can father do? He's old, Charles. He's old and weak. Jane! Jane! Charles, what's the matter? What is it? Uh, hey, it's on fire. So it is. I was so busy caring for you, I didn't notice. Brogan must have done it. That's right. He rolled right past the haystack. I didn't notice, but he must have thrown a match in the hay. First he takes a horse, and then he burns up a hay. Doggone that no-good thieving coyote. What can we do? There's nothing we can do. The hay's burning. Oh, but, Janie, those two riders. One of them's wearing a mask. Here, run. Run for the house. i got to get my gun. There's no need to be alarmed. We're friends. You must be Jane. What? Who are you? Never mind that. What about that fire? Let it burn, mister. Nothing we can do about it. Fire almost gone now. What do you want here, anyway? Suppose you're looking for Red Brogan. That's right. We are looking for him. Where is he? I might have known it. You're part of his gang. You're an outlaw the same as he is. Listen to me. My husband's right. You're wearing a mask and you're looking for Red Brogan. Get out. He's done enough damage. He stole our horses and left some of his worn out nags in their place. And on top of that, he burns up a month's supply of hay just for fun. That's not all he did. Red Brogan's gang robbed the bank. Mister, if I had my guns... Huh? Did you say he robbed the bank? That's why we're after him. Jane, we're on the side of the law. Mister, you sound mighty convincing, but I don't like... Kimo Tracks go that way. Charlie, are those Red Brogan's tracks? Why, they... Yes, mister. I believe in you. They are Brogan's tracks. How long ago did he leave here? Must have been two hours or more. He's heading for Potter River Bridge. He's got fresh horses, our horses. He's got plenty of men. What we do? We couldn't catch him anyway. Those horses he left us are tired and wore out. They're mighty slow. We thought of going to my father's ranch. Jane, that's it. Your father. Huh? There's a chance. There's just a chance, Kimosabe. What we do? Charlie, can you handle a gun? Oh, this wound's nothing, masked man. I can work a gun all right. Tato, you and Charlie right after the outlaws. You won't be able to make very good time because of the horse Charlie will have to ride. Yes, but Brogan won't be going too fast either. Brogan doesn't fear pursuit. He won't travel fast unless he has to. Him got good start. Follow them. I'm going to try and block them. But how can you? There's no time to explain. Never mind how much of a start the outlaws have. Follow them to the Powder River Bridge. I savvy, mister. Come on, Janey. I better get my gun. I'll pick out the best of those horses Brogan left. I'll have him ready. For you. Time to do like you say, but not know what you mean. Just follow instructions, Kimosabi. Leave the rest up to me and Silver. Adios. Me do it. Adios. Come on, Silver. The Lone Ranger raced back toward old Abner's home at a speed that made Silver seem like a streak of white flame flashing across the open country. Yet the masked man urged the stallion to even greater speed. Come on there, Silver. This is the time when you've got to meet the test, old fella. Stretch out, Silver. Faster, boy, faster. And while the Lone Ranger rode north, Red Brogan and his outlaw band headed west toward Powder River Bridge. We sure got things easy, gents. Clear trail and nobody following after. These here horses we got are right good ponies. Yeah, no sense in rushing them too much. <laughs> Well, what's your joke? I reckon you didn't notice when we left Jane's ranch, Brogan. You didn't look back, did you? Why should I? Just for a laugh. When we was riding away, I tossed a match into the haystack. Sure burned good and fast. You set it afire? Are you loco? What's eating you? Why, are you dumb? Suppose somebody's seen the smoke. Uh, I never figured on that. Anyway, the sheriff couldn't have got there. He went the other way. Maybe so, but we better play safe. Hey, you all, Bryce, a little faster. Get traveling. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Outlaws heading west toward the Powder River Bridge and still racing toward the north, the Lone Ranger in silver. White mane and tail were whipped by the wind. The brim of the masked man's hat was flattened back against the crown. A plan of daring was taking shape in the Lone Ranger's mind. (laughs) 
Abner, still seated on the steps of his house, stood up as he heard the distant thunder of hoofs. Why, hanged if it ain't a horseman coming again. I uh, wish he was broken. I'd like a shot at the ornery... Oh, Choke and Ginger, it's a masked man coming back. Martha! What's the matter now, Abner? You see someone? Six so loud, there he comes again. And riding like the wind. I don't see anyone chasing him, do you? If there was, he wouldn't be heading this way, Abner. That's the Lone Ranger. What's up, mister? <laughs> Abner, answer my questions and be quick. What's your trouble? How long does it take to get from here to Powder River Bridge? On a horse? With a stagecoach. Mm, about half an hour. If there's four or six good horses, take six if there's a load. How long from your daughter's house to the bridge? That's a lot longer. How long? Oh, I'd say three times as long. Maybe four times. Then there's a chance. Can that old stage of yours be moved? It sure been moved. Bring out your horses, then hitch up. Them old horses? Yes. Oh, dog, gonna miss it. Them critters is old, wore out. One of them's blind. Bring them out. They've got to help pull this stage. But for what? Where to? That stage. I'm going to hit Silver with your horses. We'll hope his strength will help them. Now, well, oh, look, mister, I don't know what your scheme is, but those old horses ain't pulled a stage in two years. They couldn't budget now. Horses are a lot like people. They'll do what's expected of them if they're made to understand how important it is. I don't know, mister. Abner, you're too old to drive. I who is? Aren't you? Like fun I am. Sure he's too old to drive. Martha. You were trying to tell the men in the Deadwood office that you could still handle the reins. Can you, or was that just a lot of idle bragging? I can handle reins as good as any man. And don't say your horses are too old. Maybe they'd like to be back in harness just as much as you would. If you could tell me for what? To smash the Brogan gang. What? Abner. Get your rifle and get those horses hitched. We're going to trap those outlaws. Great land of milk and honey. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Get my rifle, Martha. But Abner, And you... save your arguments. Get the rifle. Be sure it's loaded. And fetch the extra ammunition. I'll get the horses hitched as fast as I can. Oh, mister, don't let nothing happen to Abner. I won't. I'll go get his rifle. <laughs> Paul will be at the bridge, boys. Then we're free. The law ain't taught to guard the bridge. <laughs> the law wouldn't figure me dumb enough to come on this trail. We ain't nothing to worry about. If we do meet the law, we shoot it out. Sure. <laughs> Look at him. Poor old horses, tight their steps, spry. Look eager. Hey, by thunder, Nero there has got fire in his eye like he used to have. Ah, steady there, Nero. Be ready in the jiffy now. I'll hit Silver with the others, Abner. Steady, Silver. Uh, Martha, what are you doing? I'm going with you. Now, see here. There's your rifle on the seat, Abner. I'll ride inside. No, oh, my sakes alive. What a woman to try and reason with. Well, get in then. Get in. Ain't time to argue. Silver, old boy, this is going to be a hard job for you. You must do the work of four horses. I don't think we can count on much help from the others. All right, fella. Good boy. Hip. All right, Silver. You take the reins, Abner. Be ready in just a second. Got to pull my gloves on. Oh, never mind your gloves. You ain't appearing before folks in town now. Now I'm ready. Look at them old horses, Martha. Clattering and pawing. Anxious to get started on the run. Well, we're off. Come on, boys. Get up there. Get up there, Nero. Blacky, dusty. <laughs> it's just like it used to be. Look at them travel, Martha. They ain't old no more. They're young again. Get up there, Nero. Blacky, dusty. Hey, Old Abner felt thrills of another day returning to him as he sat once again on the high jouncing seat of the old stagecoach. The horses strained the lines, all four of them together, accomplishing only as much as the mighty Silver. Come on, get up there. The Lone Ranger leaned low over the head of Silver, whispering words of encouragement. Come on, Silver, old boy. More than the capture of outlaws depends on you today. Come on, Silver. Mile after mile, unreeled beneath the rumbling wheels. Then Powder River Bridge was in sight. A narrow bridge, narrower even than the wheels of the stage. Abner, look to the south. Uh, the bridge? Beyond the bridge. That cloud of dust. What is it? Red Brogan's gang. We're ahead of them. Your horses made it in time. Rain up now. Ho, oh, ho oh there. Ho, oh, Blackie. Pull up now. Turn the stage. Back it on the bridge. It won't cross the bridge. Back it as far as it'll go. Let the wheels drop over the side. We're going to block the bridge so the outlaws can't cross. Hi, Savvy. Hang on, Martha. Here we go. Back around there. Back around, boy. Come on, Nero. Back. Back, Blackie. Back, Dusty. A little more. Back there. Back, Nero. Blackie. Dusty. <laughs> An old stage. The bridge is blocked. Red, we can't cross the bridge. We're going to try. We've got to. Shoot now. Rain up, rain up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, Broken. Hold down your gun. Blank fun, we will. Open up, boys. There's no use shooting, Red. You'll never get us. 
In three seconds, we'll open fire on you. I'd like to see you show yourself enough to fire. How's this? Oh, my gun hand's hit. We'd better backtrack. Wait, look on the trail behind you. You'll see dust there. You're between two fires, Red. You're trapped. Surrender? He's right. Riders coming from behind us, Red. They might not give you the chance to surrender. How far off are they? Long ways. Can't see how many there is. Yeah, we got no choice. We don't know how many are behind that old stage. I ain't hankering to die sudden. I'll take my chance on jail. We give up. Drop your guns. Stop them, boys. Stop them. Stop them. Walk back from the bridge. All right, Abner. Go and get their guns. This is your capture. Sure. As soon as I scramble over the stage here. So, so you're the big bad outlaw, Red Rogan. Well, maybe you won't feel so important when you see it's just me and my wife and the lone ranger that captured you. Hold him. Yes, you ornery coyote. It's me, all right. And I'm getting the reward for capturing you. And I'm buying a stage line with it. Thanks to that there mask man. Tricked. I thought there was a whole army there. <laughs> Didn't need it. My old stage and horses was all I was needed. Uh, that is, together with the lone ranger and silver. I want silver! Silver! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated.